Hey everyone, welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. Um, before I get into the tutorial though, I'd just like to remind you guys that I have a comic book that I created uh, for sale at uh, Comics Central. That's comics spelled with an X uh, dot com. I will leave a link in the description of where you can buy that. So if you're interested in a comic book that I created, uh, you can click the link and it's only a dollar. And I would greatly appreciate it. Um, it's basically 29 pages of black and white uh, story about two kids uh, trying to survive a kind of like a bee-like zombie creature infestation of their school. So again, I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check that out. If you're interested, it's only a dollar. Uh, so for this tutorial, I was wanting to go over the line tool. Specifically, if you want to use the line tool to create um, uh, hash uh, rendering, like in comic books, you'll see the, the hash, hash lines that they use. Um, that's really not one of my styles. Um, I'm really actually not good at it. But um, uh, what I have seen people do um, is uh, they usually just grab the pen tool and uh, with the program or with the stuff like uh, the Wacom Cintiq or a, a Wacom uh, tablet, it has a pressure sensitivity. So you can just uh, do these lines and kind of like pull out as you get to the end of the line. So it has this kind of tapered look. But if you use the line tool, you can see you can create lines. Uh, but if you come down here uh, on the bottom on the settings, you can actually set uh, taper, but what you got to do is change this little drop down from none to uh, brush size, and then you can adjust the uh, how much you want the the end, the starting and the ending of the line to taper. I'm just going to pick a random number here, and so when you drag the line, and when you finish the line, you can see that uh, the program will automatically taper the lines. So if you just do the end. Um, they you can use it as a tool to do perfectly straight even um pullouts this that's what the lines are called they're called pullouts um and so you can use this tool you can even do it with the curve tool um you can adjust the again change it the option from none to brush size and then uh you're gonna have to kind of play with it to see what kind of works for you and what doesn't um, as far as the tapering size but uh, I'm just gonna pick random numbers here and then uh, so you can even with the with the curve tool you can see you can taper the, your, the ends of your curves um, and you can do them with pretty much any of these uh, line tools so um, what I'm going to do is again since I'm not good at uh, drawing uh, rendering with hash marks um, I'm going to, I just pulled this uh, pencil drawing from uh, Joe Casada. Joe Casada is a really uh, famous uh, comic book artist for Marvel. And uh, he's, uh, he's not doing so much drawing anymore. He's kind of like on the business side of Marvel now. But back in the 90s, he was a uh, really, uh, really good artist. So I, I sped this up. I pretty much just took a pencil drawing of his. And uh, um, so... I used the, the lasso fill to fill in the, the really dark areas and then so kind of at the ends of the, the dark areas you can see he he did some hash hash lines here and so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking the line tool with tapered tapering the uh, the ends and uh, I can pretty much just not worry about um, the pressure of my pen it pretty much tapers the lines for me and so here I'm using the curved uh, with tapered ends um, and so yeah and so you can use uh, you can you know change from straight to curve uh, another tool that I use when inking is the continuous line uh, so basically just find the right size and then uh, the continuous line tool will let you draw a line continuously um, by tapping you know where the path is um, 
if you want to take some really sharp turns like uh, at the points here uh, you what you would do is you tap it and then tap it in the same spot again and then continue the line um, once you finish a line uh, you double tap really quickly and that will uh, end the line for you uh, yeah so here I I kind of noticed I think uh, Joe Casada kind of made that left eye way out too much so I'm just adjusting it uh, I'm trying to keep the black uh, space kind of the same but kind of just moved it down a bit so so I'm just uh, using the lasso fill again to fill in the really dark areas uh, and then uh, using the continuous line to uh, pretty much do straight lines um, I mean you can do it with the pin except with the pin again you're gonna have to worry about pressure and in changing the line weight uh, so again here's more more uh, hash lines where I'm using the line tool with the the tapered ends and uh, it makes everything look uh, really nice and neat uh, without worrying about getting the the pressure uh, correct because every line will be the same the only thing you really got to worry about is the direction of the line you um, you, you might want to take your time that way everything lines up correctly uh, here I used the curved line with tapered on one end to finish the dome on the top of Wolverine's head um, yeah and so yeah the, so this line tool um, trick with uh, tapering the the ends of the lines uh, makes it really easy to ink uh, people's uh, pencil lines so uh, again you don't you don't have to uh, pick somebody else's uh, pencils I mean if, if you're if you're really good at uh, doing the hash marking stuff uh, you can obviously do your own artwork but uh, I myself that's not my style but I do from time to time like to grab uh, you know professional comic book artists uh, work and uh, just to see if I can ink it and uh, yeah using the line tool really really helps a lot uh, if you want to get those nice uh, clean uh, straight even uh, hash hash lines uh, the line tool works great so here yeah just trying to follow the pencils um, I don't follow every pencil stroke um, I just I get the gist of it like here the the little stubbles of his beard um, I'm just using the 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 line and you can see they're they're very very small lines but with the ends tapered it gives it that nice tapered look but um, I found out that when you do the the beard stubble it's probably better if you use a pin that way you do get some variations between the uh, stubbles they don't look all the same um, so I think that I switched over to the pin when I when I did that and here I'm adding, um, even though the pencil lines didn't show any hashing there, I wanted to maybe add some. And I used a white line here to separate the, the nostril from his nose. Uh, so yeah, um, that's one one cool, uh, quick trick that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, uh, if you guys are into uh, hatching when you do your, your comic book art, um, you can certainly utilize those uh, line tools and just uh, mess or mess with the uh, tapering settings until you get something you like and uh, I think in my opinion it makes the process the uh, hatching process go quicker um, I don't know maybe you're used to doing it by pin but uh, I thought I'd show you guys that little trick and uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learned something um, if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up um, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And uh, so again, I want to remind everybody that uh, I did uh, draw a comic book of my own. It's called Swarm, and it's on sale for a dollar at Comic Central. 
Um, it's uh, 29 pages of black and white uh, story about two kids who arrive late to school to discover it's been infested by these zombie bee-like uh, creatures, uh, so they kind of have to survive through it. So, again, I'll leave a link in the description for my book if you are interested and uh, curious and want to read it. It's only a dollar, and I would appreciate it. So, um, again, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to uh, see you guys in the next one.